What's up, yo? It's me. I ain't been back in a few days. Been trying to get that, get that preparing ready for that new music video the Bubble Bud about to drop. Yeah. Okay, now, um, usually I don't be doing short videos like this because the beach be trying to monetize. But listen, I ain't got my damn check yet. Not yet. I mean, like, shit, they need to start going by first names. See, look, you ain't changed my name yet, because it's still be at the, the A's and the alphabet. It don't make no difference what they go by. You need your check. Okay, excuse yourself. And um, I really don't think they're going by alphabetical. What? Alphabetical? No, I don't think they're going by alphabetical. Alphabetical. No. They need to go alphabetical to get my check, you feel me? Because S is after you and you got his already. Yeah, niggas, is that, this is crazy. So I know. They ain't going by alphabetical. Alphabetical. They don't need to be alphabetical Because <laughs> that shit is crazy. But um, yeah. let's hear what, what this dude got to say. Because last time what he said about the checks was very informative if you watched my earlier video. So let's run this footage, please. This is your stimulus check and stimulus package update as of Tuesday, May 5th. We're going to talk about the stimulus check, the SBA PPP loan, financial and economic news, and the upcoming stimulus package. Let's start off with economic and financial news. Regarding unemployment, if you remember from my last video, if you were laid off or furloughed and your employer calls you back to work, if you refuse, that's going to be considered a voluntary quit and your unemployment benefits will be in jeopardy. But of course, states are now setting up websites. Oh, now, why would I refuse to get back to work? Unless I ain't like the job, just be like, fuck it, nigga, I ain't coming back to this bullshit no more. Because they're getting unemployment. Oh so, the, oh, so then they wouldn't come back right away? Until it run out, but they like beach. But um, if you refuse to come back, then you ain't coming. No, it might back. also have to do with uh, COVID nineteen. What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. Why they're not going back? But, but any at any rate, if they refuse to go back, then it's like they quit. Yeah, but duh, right? so their unemployment will stop. I guess I mean, but. Yeah, if if you if your employer called you back, then. It's going to be safe for you to work or uh, what? That's confusing. Because maybe there shouldn't be no reason you refuse. But if there is COVID-19 in the surrounding area of your workplace and you don't got no protective gear, I can see refusing might be advantageous to your health. Um. Then you're gonna give you a mask and some gloves. I know, no, I understand. But then I'm, you have no income coming in at all. I know, so it's like a kiss with it too. But I don't think it's one of them cases though. If you should refuse, that's just some negative shit. Well that that only need be to get like your ass back to work. That only be something like the nurse, but she said she would have thought it out. The one that had the had the physical had had medical problems. Yes. And had five kids at home. Yes, it is. And then I could understand her refusing to do this. Yeah, right, right, right. Because you putting and my husband is not here, he in another state working. Yeah, yeah, that, that, so that. If somebody gets sick, I got nobody to take care of my kids. Right, right, but this is a different this I ain't talking about that kind of Yeah, kid. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying that I can understand kind of refusing. Yeah, yeah. But, but um But that was pre though. That, that was pre this. I'm talking about now. Um, now I I don't see why anybody would refuse to go back. Unless they're lazy, or they just niggerish. Well, they unless know. they thought they were gonna keep their unemployment, but yeah, come yeah. on. No, but you know how stupid some niggas is. Hey, you all true, true that, true that, true that, true that, true that. Players to snitch on their former employees. Ohio is one of them, for example. So this is a serious issue. If you're on unemployment benefits and you do not want to go back to work and you're called back to work. And you do not want to lose your unemployment benefits, then do not refuse to go back to work. You just got to find a way to become inaccessible. And please note, currently, oh, wait, 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 but federal pandemic unemployment. you can't refuse to come back to work but break a leg, basically. What they said. He said so. 
become disabled and you, you got no become, well, no he's not saying become disabled i know but let's just push it down okay? yeah, find a way not you ain't heard this of me <laughs> but you ain't heard this of me now but you have but you... find a way that either they don't need you to be there or Find a way, but, but you ain't heard this leak. Yeah, bring a third to or something, you know, something that ain't really. But you ain't heard this with me now. But we have, because we looked at you. Yes, we have. <laughs> it expires on July 31st. That's still a good three months for you to enjoy. Please do so. However, keep in mind that the job market this summer is going to be awful. Yeah. If you're planning to write out the $600 weekly benefit until July 31st, you're going to milk every drop, then please have something lined up and just be smart about this. California is now the first state to borrow money from the federal government to pay for unemployment benefits. This is because so many people are filing unemployment claims and benefits and the unemployment trust funds are just being bled dry. So not just California, my state, Illinois, in Connecticut, they're next. And just so you guys know, the government is not the hero when it comes to unemployment benefits. The unemployment money is coming from the businesses and the employers, not the PUC, but the regular state benefits. We, the business owners, pay unemployment tax per quarter, per year, per employee. This unemployment money is coming from small businesses and from the employers. The government is probably going to screw us over by jacking up the rates, but, you know, moving forward, what can we do? Regarding the stimulus check, regarding the current stimulus check, we're getting asked questions about dead people. If you received a stimulus check for a dead relative, Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin said that you are not supposed to keep the payment. He said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't even receive a check and I'm a living nigga. So you trying to tell me I can get a check for a dead nigga that ain't even living no more? Bad on. But the government said I ain't going to use that money. No. I mean, like, dig, dig him up, dig him, dig him up, dig him up for like five dollars. Dig him up, nigga, get to the grave, son. We got 24 hours to dig this nigga up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what is it? I don't think. What, I mean, weekends at Birdies, Bar mm -hmm. 3, nigga. We're going to dig this day, nigga. <laughs> we need this 600 a week. He ain't worked in 72 That's years. Hey, he dig him up, too. He had an old job. He got fired from because he died from COVID 19. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you got to stretch it. You got to work it out. Hey, but he said three months. It ain't three months till Jan January. July. From no. now. From right May, now. May, June, July. He said, I thought June. he said January 31st. No, July 31st is when unemployment ends. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're going to. He should return the payment. He did not lay out the consequences for not doing so, but ultimately we're waiting on the IRS guidance on how to handle the situation since the CARES Act language was interpreted that relatives did not have to return the money. Moving on to the SBA PPP loan. The expenses you use that PPP loan money on disqualifies that expense from being a deduction on your tax return. I told you yesterday that the AICPA is fighting to have that overturned because that is against Congress's intent. They're trying to get this overturned by fixing this issue in the Phase 4 upcoming stimulus package. However, Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin supported the IRS guidance for the ineligibility of tax deductions for that PPP loan money. In regards to the upcoming stimulus package, Trump is saying that he would not accept another stimulus package without a payroll tax cut. You know, that's nice. That would give a... 7.65% boost to employees, but honestly, in my opinion, that's not enough. There's so many proposals out there. I hope you enjoy my piece on the, the Patriot Pay Act yesterday I did, which is a garbage proposal. You know, honestly, my suggestion would be another stimulus check. It would be 
a pay bump for May, June, July for people that are working, you know, as a business owner with employees, I know that this would be so easy to administer, you know, on my end as an employer. And I would also suggest an extension of unemployment benefits past July 31st, have a gradual reduction of benefits after July 31st, because after July 31st, when that 600 hour weekly runs out to nothing, I mean, it's going to be a disaster. It, I would suggest phasing that out rather than just having cut off completely. We'll see what happens. I don't know you. That's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Negro. All right. Now, mm, I don't know. Y'all need to go get some uh, temporary disability and some shit. Don't, don't you get that out? Don't you break a leg for my six months or some shit? But don't give them temporary disability. Oh, well. Well, I don't know how that works. I got permanent, you know? I got permanent. So. Permanent? <laughs> yeah, I got that blue sticker. I don't, know what to, I don't know what to tell y'all niggas, but, because, I mean, I need my stimulus, but I don't give a damn, really, so, you mean it's in it, you know what I mean, it's for y'all, I mean, I, I don't appreciate niggas around me getting there, they be like, yo, did you get your, check your mailbox, B, oh, slayer. Because then they, 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 they talk about some damn, um, remember when they told us we couldn't get no mail because they couldn't read where we live at? <laughs> remember when the mailbox was like, write your shit on when you ain't getting no mail? If your name is not on the mailbox, we're not going to leave you no mail. That's bullshit. No well, it's understandable. It's understandable, but hey, what you want to have you? I hope I don't want to be. Give me some mail, please. I want the mobiles. Matter of fact, no, I ain't gonna put my name on jet. I don't want to give me no more bills. Be like, we didn't receive those bills, but that don't work. Mm. I want to know the first case of a Negro who get asked back to the job and refuses. And they said he said that if you get dead niggas money and you and you don't return it, they don't know. No you know what? You can't cash the check without ID. Where the idea? I know. Me like yo, I'm a relative. I look like. <laughs> I don't know that. that, that that's tough, noogies. Guess you walking people want to be disabled, huh? Ha ha, go break something. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> hey, did they go up in the stamp this month? I don't know. Might as well, everything else don't make the fuck up. I know, cereal for dinner. A dollar or two. That don't make no sense, though. Milk, seven dollars. This ain't Bermuda, what the fuck? <laughs> a dozen eggs. Four dollars for a dozen eggs. Not twelve for the eaglets. But four dollars. It didn't, it didn't, hey, it's all the people still loose. It's on the run, son. It, it's still on the run. As far as I know, it's on the run. Niggas ain't got no toilet paper, no TP. What we gonna do Halloween? Maybe they have somebody here. Mm. They damn sure act like it's gold now. Then, then, oh, you need magazines and newspaper. Then magazines and newspaper. Then they gonna start printing those. Then your ass gonna be just dirty. Dirty asses. Mm. Oh, well. Well, I just went to work today. They don't know it till I hit up, little, but I worked. Mm. Hey, I refuse to work tomorrow. <laughs> That's funny. Goodbye, people. See you tomorrow.